Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick recap to the Chicago Blackhawks losing 5-2 to two in the um, Chicago Flames, having a solid game, I would put it, to win 5-2 to two because they really had three goals on the goaltender, Mark andre Fleury, who played a very good game to keep his Blackhawks in the game as the shots were 39-21, to 21, but the Flames, with those 21 shots, did give up some opportune chances, and also, specifically, on a wrist shot, Hagel was able to get. We also had another opportunity in the game, obviously, on the great pass from Taze in front of the net, among others. Taze has been able to create other opportunities in the game. And the Hawks were able to get some A-plus chances, or at least some B-plus chances if for, with some of their other chances in those 21 shots. So the Flames only played, I would say, a solid game in this game. This wasn't one of the A-plus games of the Flames. And the Blackhawks stayed competitive, just like we talked about on Pirlo Wisdom's show that I'm going to link his channel at the end of this video. If you want to start following him, and you should, he does great hockey content there with Peyton on the radio as well, who you should follow. But this is really a game... That the Blackhawks competed with the NHL's top tier teams of the season this far. This is a great game for them to continue to show success with their new coach and their new GM. So it is very good to continue to see that, obviously, if you're a Hawks fan with all the stuff that you've been going through this season. And they obviously, not the fans, but the team deserved the punishments that came through to them from the Kyle Beach situation. But the fans have obviously had to go through all that as well. And now you are coming out pretty better, playing more competitive in your last 10 and now 11 games as we throw this one in. And you play competitive because this was really a 3-2 game with them two empty netters to seal it by Kachuk and Trevor Lewis. And uh, and no, it's Kachuk and not Kachuk, by uh, Trevor Lewis and Johnny Goudreau. And then Kachuk was able to score on a very nice wrist shot. So in this game, the other thing that you have to shout out is an undrafted player, Reese Johnson, who was very solid when he was down in his career with the Ice Hog. is a very good scrappy guy that really competes at a high level, never going to wow you at anything really, but competes at a high level and will piss off and be pesky and get penalty minutes fighting and standing up to people and pissing off the other team. So he's a good little player. Congratulations for him to be able to get his first goal and then, of course, Milan Lucic had a very good wrist shot, and Dylan Dubé had a spectacular snapshot that was able to cap off the Flames' actual goals on the net minder. So, in this game, the Blackhawks stayed competitive, but the Flames stayed doing their thing and stayed as a very good game that Jacob Markstrom, again, became uh, showed why he has become one of the best goaltenders and a guy that would be able to be in the Vezina conversation and probably win it unless if it's James Reimer who's going off on surprise or surprisingly is much to the level he's going off as Pirlo pointed out on his show earlier but you have him going off obviously in net for the Flames and that is something that Markstrom I think will continue to do and then Flurry had a hell of a game as well but Flames come out on top because they were able to prevail enough on offense and play well enough to play a, or to beat a Blackhawks team at home that has been a hell of a lot more competitive since making the coaching and general manager change. So everybody have a great safe and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Blackhawks and Calgary Flames game. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Jeff Borg. Subscribe down below on the subscribe button if you enjoy the content and have not already. I appreciate you or up above on the easy to use widget. And thank you so much to the 158 who already have subscribed. Peace out, everybody.